<laughs> Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review featuring Cal and the Chuchestas. Oh man, if you dear, I think you're great, so don't listen to the hate. But don't get cocky because no one likes that either. Wow. Wow. Um, review time. Matthew Deere beams. This guy is a producer, DJ, singer, and co-founder of one of the most forward-thinking electronic music labels today, Ghostly International. Beams is this dude's fifth full-length album and the follow-up to what was pretty much his breakthrough LP, Black City, on which he presented a pretty definitive sound. The structures and just delivery of, of micro house and techno executed with the darkest and, and strangest textures and tones imaginable. And he graced these visceral, shadowy grooves with his uh, very moody baritone vocal. What was really kind of keeping me from loving that LP though is that I felt some of the beats didn't have enough variation, enough progression to them, and lyrics kind of tend to be a, a weak point for Matthew on, on this LP as well. However, like I said, he does have a style all his own, which he does evolve on, on beam, beams. Now overall, this LP does have that same dark and tortured delivery that you expect from Matthew Deere, but I would say this is maybe easily his most upbeat project yet. He hems back the reverb, he hems back the obscurity, he hems back just that feeling of desolation, and he delivers a series of focused beats where the instrumentation is not only clear, but kind of colorful. Maybe even bordering on bubbly, though I would say they are more like tar bubbles. But when the tar bubbles pop, they smell like pink bubblegum, especially on the track Ahead of Myself, which to me instrumentally is, is a very surprising change from the sometimes very bleak Black City. And, and, and what's awesome is that this change has not ruined the feel or the emotions of Matthew Deere's music. I actually think it's made him a more interesting character because on Beams, the clash between the fun danceable beats and the very weird, strange sounding man singing over them is that much greater. Like on the track Do The Right Thing, it's a softer track on this LP, has a very pleasing beat, a nice soft cowbell in there, strategically placed, some glossy synthesizers, and Matthew Deere's very bellowing croon, keeping things kind of creepy. Because as he's singing, and, and that is creepy in and of itself, he's throwing out these lyrics about digging a grave, or about how his heart weighs a ton in snakes, or how his flesh is burning like a ton of flames falling from the sun. I actually think this track is the sweetest piece of synth pop I've ever heard from this guy, and yet, it is disturbingly morbid. It's a pretty surreal song, especially when you look at the lyrics. Actually, for me, a lot of the slower tracks on here do get pretty s surreal, even the last track on here, Temptations. It's a track that to me is just equal parts seductive and unsettling, but the songs on here that are even best at that first one, seductive, are the ones that have the harder beats, like the opening track on here, Her Fantasy, which features all of these strange synth loops, I mean a sea of different textures from glossy and just smooth to soaring and, and vibrant, or just kind of like dark and, and rough. And the groove underneath these synths just totally remind me of David Byrne, Talking Heads. I would actually say those two things are the most prevalent influence on this entire LP. I've never heard Talking Heads just come through so strong on this dude's music. And as long as we're making comparisons, there are moments on this LP that totally remind me of like Nine Inch Nails. And there's something in the back of my head that just totally says, hey man, when he croons, sounds a bit like Marilyn Manson. If that pisses you off, I don't give a fuck. And despite this newfound level of color, Matthew Deere's personality is, is just as odd and freakish as ever. Even on a track like Headcage, which came from Matthew Deere's previous EP, which I didn't really like, but I did like that track, Headcage is really the poppiest song on here and has a hook about going out tonight. And even though that vocal is, is a little corny, it is corny, the, the lyrics are a bit corny, he does kind of give this very eerie quality to just kind of leaving the house and just kind of sneaking 
hanging out to have a good time. Now if I do have some gripes with this LP, the second to last track on here is, is definitely a little underwhelming but maybe more of a grower. The tracks up and out and over time do to me kind of rely on repetition a little bit too much. There's enough progression for me plus those two tracks for whatever reason they're right next to each other kind of fizzle out at the end as opposed to ending abruptly or kind of pulling together a proper finish. But I'm really enjoying all the other tracks on here a lot. And what I guess I'm, I'm most impressed by on, on this LP is that like Black City, this album does have a sense of place and I like that Matthew Deere was able to keep things dark, keep things weird, but bring a different place to the listener. It's an album that, to me, lives in this weird dimension that, that for some reason is both gloomy, gloomy, and like inviting, like you wanna be there. You know, I've tried really hard to <laughs> talk about and describe the overall experience of this album, and yet I still kind of feel like I have fallen short, but that's just really kind of overall how I feel about this thing. Feeling a strong eight. <laughs> And remember, though this album is coming from a weird place, it is not going to feel totally alien to you. I mean, you know, you have poppy hooks on here, you have synths, you have beats, you have loops, samples, vocals, lyrics, all things that are familiar to you, and yet they kind of create this otherworldly sensation. And, and that's really what I'm loving about it. Um, yeah, that's it. What did you guys think of this album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Remember the good comment, great rate, strong subscribe, and, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Love you. 80K Dance. Forever.